Hello, reading friends. Welcome back. We're starting our reading today with some nonsense word practice. Take a look at the words on the top line of this page. We're going to read this top line all together before your practice starts. So follow my cursor with your eyes. Are you ready? Fen. Cad. Lis. Mon. Fen. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to start our timer. You'll have one minute to read as many of these words as you can. And then we'll talk about keeping score at the end. On your mark, get set. Okay, guys, now's the part where you are going to pause the video, go back, count the number of nonsense words that you were able to read, and then keep track. Write it down somewhere, or keep a, keep a log, or keep a sort of a journal with the number of words you read so that you know if you're getting better each time you practice. All right, let's look at our book today. I was pretty excited about this book because this is a nonfiction book. Do you remember what nonfiction means? Nonfiction means that it is factual or true. So the title of this book, if you look at the really cool cover, we've got a photographer who is taking pictures of some penguins, which are very cute. And the title of this book is called Artists Use Tools. So the author's name is Robin Johnson. So we're gonna find out what kind of tools they use. Now, oops, what's my timer doing? If you look at the table of contents for this book, do you guys remember what a table of contents tells us? This is all the different parts of this book. And over here, out to the side, we have the page numbers that tell us where those parts are. Now, we're going to do our book today as an echo read, which means you are going to listen to Miss Sunshine read it first, and then you're going to echo read it back to me. All right, so let's take a look at page four. The, the title of this section is, What is an Artist? An artist is a person who creates art. Now, as you look at that first sentence, before you read it back to me, do you notice a text feature? Something that stands out, something the author wants us to pay attention to? Do you see the bold text in this first sentence? That is a text feature that artists use, or I'm sorry, that authors use, which authors are artists, that authors use to help draw our eyes and make us look at something that they want us to notice. It's probably because this author isn't sure if you know what the word creates is. So let's read, you're gonna read the title to me and that first sentence. Are you ready? Go. Artists create many kinds of art. Your turn. They draw or paint pictures. They dance and write music. Uh, 
Another text feature on this page is this photograph. And beneath the photograph is a text feature we call a caption. So let's read this caption. This artist is painting a picture of a city. Now you. And now we're gonna read this caption on page five. These artists are acting in a play. A play is a type of art. It is a show that people watch. Cool tools. Artists use tools to make art. Tools are things that help us do jobs. Artists use different tools to make different types of art. Okay, let's take a look at our text feature photograph. This artist is using this tool and we have the text feature of a label to tell us the name of that tool. This is a sewing machine. So let's coral read the caption beneath the photograph. Ready, all together. This artist uses a sewing machine to make a dress. Let's read the caption on page seven. Now, before we do, look at this label. This is called a stencil. I don't know, it looks like they're using some type of colored sand in this art and it is beautiful. Let's read the caption all together. A stencil is an art tool. It helps artists make patterns and shapes. That is beautiful. Write drawing and writing. Artists use tools that help them draw and write. Your turn. And look at these text features. We have a photograph with a label. This label shows us that this artist tool is called charcoal. You can see they're drawing a picture. This photograph shows this is chalk and this is a ruler. This artist uses charcoal to add dark lines and shades to a drawing. This artist uses chalk and a ruler to draw a straight line on cloth. Oh, and I bet you guys know what this is. Oh, this is making me miss our music teacher and our music special at Grand Elementary. This artist uses a pencil to write music. The music makes a song people will sing. Adding color. Some artists use tools to add color to their art.
artists use colored pencils to add color to drawings. Painters use brushes to put colorful paint on their art. <laughs> I have a special treat for you when we're done reading this book. I can't wait to show you. Okay, let's read this caption at the bottom of page 10. Big brushes make thick lines Small brushes make thin lines. And here's our photograph. Remember that's one of our text features. Along with this label, this artist is using a sponge. This artist uses a sponge to put colorful paint on a bowl. Making shapes. Art comes in all shapes. Artists use tools to change the shapes of different materials. The new shapes they create our art. So this photograph shows a gentleman and he is using, do you see the cat, the label? Pottery wheel. This artist uses a pottery wheel to make different shapes from clay. The shapes become beautiful art. Oh, take a look at this label. This artist is using tweezers. This artist uses tweezers to make shapes from glass. So this yellow part is glass that they're making really, really hot so they can make it into a new shape. uses tweezers. Taking photos. Photos are a type of art. Artists use tools called cameras to take photos. Some cameras let artists make videos. Movies you see at the theater are videos made by artists. Oh, look at these pictures on this page 15. Artists can take photos in color or in black and white. This artist uses a camera to make a music video. Performing art. Some artists use tools to perform art. They put on shows for people to watch. They act, dance, and sing. Actors use costumes, there's our label, to dress as characters in plays. Oh, 
Oh, look at these. This label says point shoes. Some dancers use point shoes to stand on their toes. These artists use puppets to put on a show. Do you see these puppets? Making music. Some artists use tools to make music. They use instruments to make different sounds. They use their voices to sing. These artists blow horns that toot. This artist uses a stick to hit a drum. It makes a banging sound. Art on a screen. Many artists use tools called computers. Artists use computers to create art on screens. Here's our label. This is called this this tool that this artist is using is called a stylus. This artist uses a pen called a stylus to draw on a computer screen. Artists use computers to change the colors and shapes of their art. Take a look, guys, because on page 22, we have a glossary. These are all the words that we saw that you may or may not have ever read before, along with what those words mean or their definitions. Over on page 23, we have an index. If you wanted to know where these words were in the book, you would take a look and they're listed alphabetically. And then just to the side, you'll see numbers. Those are the page numbers where those words appeared in our book. Now I wanted to show you really fast. So this is a painting an artist did. And I want to tell you a little bit about this painting. This is a painting of a cookie. This artist likes to paint food. Take a look. Donut. Yeah, I know your mouth is watering. I know. Marshmallows. Beautiful and delicious. This cookie is a type of cookie you can get in Europe, so way over the ocean, and it has the funniest name. This cookie is called a jammy dodger, and it's because it has jam in the center of these two buttery cookies, and they are delicious, but it has not that funny name, jammy dodger? And the reason I wanted to show you guys this art, oh, tell me that doesn't look delicious, is because I know this artist. She's super, super talented, because guess what? She's my sister. Oh, lemon meringue pie. So good. <gasps> mm, that looks like strawberry shortcake. I tell you what, guys. I want you to find a way today to get some tools, pencils, crayons, paint, and make some art of your very own. I'll see you next time, guys.